How's it going guys? Today I'm going to walk you through a day in the life of a radiology resident on a 24 hour call. So the day starts early, usually around 6 a.m. Got to make sure I don't wake up the kids. It's kind of a gloomy day, but preparation for the call actually begins the day before. Lunch, snacks, clothes, one of the keys to a successful call for any resident is hydration. That includes ample water. I always make sure to carry water with me and resupply often. I also find that during my call shifts, I end up consuming a lot of coffee because suppressing appetite, making me more focused, and waking me up, what can go wrong? So my commute usually takes about 30 to 40 minutes. Some people might look at that as a negative. I actually prefer having a little bit of a commute. It gives me time to decompress at the end of shifts, and also that gives me time to kind of focus on what's about to come before I begin my shift. So here we go, we arrive at the hospital, usually around 7.40. First goal is gonna to be to meet up with the resident who was on overnight, take over the call pager, and talk to him about any particular cases, that might need to be done during the day, any emergencies that are coming from the emergency department, and any procedures that need to be done. After that, pick a station, and the call begins. Usually I call the ER, I call my fellow techs, let everybody know that I'm here. At this point, my pager hasn't gone off, so I decide to treat myself, knowing that I will regret it in the future. Once you get everything settled, it's time to get onto the grind. This call was filled with a variety of cases. Started off the morning with a trauma and a spinal injury. So usually a typical day for a radiologist consists of looking at labs, looking at different variety of images on different modalities, generating high quality reports, speaking to clinicians, speaking to specialists, and even subspecialists in regards to patient care. It's all about coming up with a plan that's best for the patient and figuring out the best way to successfully manage a patient. It's all about being efficient. It's about being hardworking and being meticulous when it comes to the details. And that's what your patients deserve. So that's what we try to do. And one thing you learn early about call is that you take advantage of whatever opportunities you get. If it's a dull moment, make sure to hydrate yourself, make sure to go for a walk, make sure to freshen your mind, because you never know when things might take a turn for the worst. As a resident, and when you're in-house for 24 hours, you're gonna to respond to the emergencies, whether they're at your department or elsewhere. At the end of the day, we do what's best for our patient. Sporadically throughout, you're gonna be paged multiple times, and it's just about you handling what needs to be handled for the hospital and just grinding away. So now it's close to about 6 p.m. Of course, daddy duty. You're never off duty when you're a father. So speak a little bit to my kids, make sure they're doing okay, and then just back to it. What's fascinating about radiology is that you are not limited by any specialty. You'll see surgical cases, you'll see complex medical cases, you'll see pediatric cases, and everything else in between. As a radiologist, you'll be in the command center, and from there you'll be orchestrating the management of a huge variety of patients. And actually the concept of that is really fascinating and very rewarding. So we're nearly halfway through our shift. So at this point, I really feel like a boss. So I decided to warm up some pasta and chicken from the night before and treat myself to a little bit of coffee because I feel like I deserve it with all the hard work that I've been doing. So 
So throughout the course of the evening, I also find myself pacing around like a madman, because I can. I also always take out time to stretch, in particular, and pace around, and convince myself that I'm an Olympic athlete. I just compete in a different way than most people. Another thing about being a resident is you carry around sometimes outdated technology. So this pager is what keeps you up all night. I get paged by various departments and I end up seeing various different patients in different locations. At this point in the night, I decide, you know what, I'm going to try to give it a try and try to rest. I usually am not able to get any rest and sleep in the hospital, but I decide to give it a shot anyway. And of course, that's the moment that the whole hospital realizes how desperately they need me. So now we're reaching the home stretch. I decide to just come back, review some of my reports, talk to some of my colleagues, and continue to grind away. When you finally reach this point of your call shift, you just hope that the next few hours remain quiet nothing too crazy happens and you just can't wait for the moment that you get to pass this pager on to your daytime counterparts like a baton. We reach the finish line, now we get to finally go home, sleep for the majority of the day, wake up extremely late, regret sleeping so much, and come back to work all over again tomorrow morning. Thanks for joining me on this call shift. Until next time.